Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to kind of um, identify some acute right straight and obtuse angles in this figure. Um, so a couple things that I look for, you know, especially the easiest one to figure out is going to be my right angles. And my right angles is obviously going to be the angle that is going to have a nice little box. So the only right angle that I see is angle EBD, or you could call it angle DBE. Doesn't really matter. I'll call it angle EBD. The next angle that I'm going to look for is the straight angle. And the straight angle, uh, remember right angle is 90 degrees, right? And the straight angle is going to be the angle that is going to create a straight line, which you can see is angle ABC. OK, now I figured out these two angles first, because I know that if an angle is acute, it's going to be less than 90 degrees, or less than a right angle. And if an angle is obtuse, then it's going to be greater than 90 degrees, a right angle, but less than a straight angle. So let's go and write these here, acute and obtuse. OK, so there's two acute angles that I see here. I can have A, B, E or CBD, right? These two angles are definitely smaller in measure than my 90 degree angle. So I can say angle ABE and angle CBD. Now, when looking at obtuse angles, um, you can see there's these, all these lines and stuff. It gets confusing. But if I had the angle A, B to E, which would be this angle right here, you can obviously see that it is larger than 90 degrees, right? Because I'm going this extra distance, but it's not, um, but it's smaller than 180. So I could say angle CBE. And then I could do that the other way as well. I could go from this ray to this ray and create this angle, which would be angle ABD. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you identify some acute, obtuse, right and straight angles. Thanks.